again. I hear those trumpets blow again. I'll glow again, taking a chance on love. Here I slide again, about to take that right again. I'm starry-eyed again, taking a chance on love. I thought the cards were a frame up high, never would try. But now I'm taking that game up, and the ace of hearts is high. All things are mending now, I see a rainbow blending now. We'll have our happy ending now, taking a chance on love. Good evening, everyone. How is everybody? Thank God. Welcome. Welcome. I'm Lindsay Alley, and this is the Lindsay Alley Show. Isn't that creative? I know. And I spent hours on the title. Now, for those of you who uh, don't know where you are, or <laughs> how you got here, or who I am, thanks so much for coming to the show. Thank you, thank you so much. And uh, if you happen to have had one too many cocktails at dinner, well, then I, I think you're really going to like it. We're going to spend the next 45 minutes or so getting to know each other, and since I'm standing here at the mic, let's start with me. Right off the bat, there are only three things you really need to know. 34, single, ticking. I can feel the women out there giving me the uh, sorority up down, up down, up down, up down, up down. Let's not judge, okay? We're all sisters. <laughs> don't be nervous, girls. I don't want your guys. Just your unattached sons or exes. The gainfully employed, paroled, straight ones. I thought the cards were a frame up. I never would try. But now I'm taking that game up. And the ace of hearts is high. Things are mending now. I see a rainbow blending now. We'll have our happy ending now. Taking a chance on love. <laughs> gimme, gimme. That thing called love. I want it. Huh. Gimme, gimme. <laughs> that thing called love. I need it. Highs and lows, tears and laughter. Give me happy ever after. Gimme, gimme. <laughs> that thing called love. Gimme, gimme, that thing called love. I crave it. Gimme, gimme, that thing called love. I'll brave it, thick and thin, rich or poor times. Gimme years, and I want more time. Gimme, gimme, that thing called love. Gimme, gimme, that thing called love. I'm free now. Gimme, gimme, that thing called love. I see now fly dogs, sing sparrow. Gimme Cupid's famous arrow. Gimme, gimme, that thing called love. I don't care if he's a nobody. In my heart, he'll be a somebody, somebody to love me. 
Heidi, don't forget me. Romeo and Juliet me fly, Dolph sings Sparrow. Give me fat boy's famous arrow. Give me, give me that thing called Good time to have an act, wouldn't it? <laughs> People do enjoy an act, don't they? <sighs> Thank you guys so much for coming to the skit. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm so glad you dragged yourselves out for an evening of high art. <laughs> Cabaret is in the arts. I know that because I... I read about it once in the arts section. <laughs> and, uh, and I've caught in mouth, I'm a professional, so I came up here without a water. Um, I know, I know. Mario, Mario, do you mind bringing me a water? That would be so great. Oh, look at that. Oh, so nice. Thank you. Look at that. Oh, bottled at the springs of Kettle One. <laughs> mm. Oh, in, in the future, I like my water with a twist. It's, it's fine, I'll drink it. It's fine. It's fine. That'll put hair on your chest right there. Spent all morning trying to remove it. It's kind of nice. I feel like the fly sometimes. I just, where did that come from? Um, so on that note, <laughs> I used to be a mouseketeer. Yeah. Isn't that adorable? <laughs> it's the credit that just won't die. <sighs> yeah, that was me. For six years and seven seasons, I did the, uh, the roll call right alongside Brittany and Justin and Christina. And I, I know what you're all thinking. Lindsay who? I don't remember you. But it's fine, neither does Christina. <laughs> She never calls, or writes, or texts, or tweets. But it's fine, I don't feel angry, or bitter, or jealous, or suicidal at all. Um, not, at, not even a little bit. When, uh, when people find out I was on the show with all these kids who have enormous careers now, um, they say, Lindsay, what, 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 what happened to you? And I tell them, I went to college. <laughs> What a giant mistake <laughs> that was. Um, I actually remember my brother asking me at the time, are you really gonna waste all that money on an education? <laughs> I should have listened to him. Apparently he knew there would be a reality TV explosion and being ignorant and uneducated would be all the rage. <laughs> Getting back to me, the unknown mouseketeer. <laughs> the good news about my predicament is that uh, ABC will eventually run out of people. <laughs> That's why I'm wearing sequins. <laughs> because they're gonna be forced to invite me onto Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> Won't it be so fun backstage in the green room, rubbing sequined elbows with Flow from the progressive ads. <laughs> Jared of Subway fame. And a bitter middle-aged Surrey Cruz. I think it's kind of, um, <clears throat> that's a good cue, isn't it? So Jerry, your cue is bitter middle-aged Surrey Cruz. That's right. 
Well, well, that's real. <laughs> you weren't joking. Uh, I think it's weird that we never got to sing Disney songs on the Mickey Mouse Club. That's, that ain't right. Yeah. Right? Right. That's terrible. I mean, write yourselves a check, people. It makes, it makes no sense whatsoever. So, so, um, so here's my chance eh, to be a Disney princess. A dream is a wish your heart makes when you're fast asleep. In dreams you will lose your heartaches. Whatever you wish for, you Have faith in your dreams, and someday your rainbow will come smiling through. No matter how your heart is grieving, if you keep on believing, the dreams that you wish will come. Cinderella, I mean, what a doll, right? Every Disney princess has her song, and Disney is so good about, about representing every ethnicity. You know, there's like Mulan and Pocahontas and Jasmine. They all had one thing in common, those girls. They were all a size two. <laughs> Except for poor Ariel, she was a little bottom heavy. <laughs> So they had to give her a fin. It's sad. And she has crabs. I'm talking about Sebastian and his friends, people. Anyway. Even though Ariel admits to being verbally challenged, she still goes after what she wants. <sighs> I want to be where the people are. I want to see, want to see them dancing, walking around on those, what do you call them? Oh, feet. <laughs> Flipping your fins, you don't get too far. Legs are required for jumping, dancing, strolling along down a, what's that word again? Street. Up where they walk, up where they run, up where they stay all day in the sun Wandering free Wish I could be part of that world What would I give if I could live out of these waters? What would I pay to spend a day warm on the sand? Betcha on land they understand that they don't Reprimand their daughters, bright young women, sick of swimming, ready to stay. And I'm ready to know what the people know. Ask them my questions and get some answers. What's a fire and why does it, what's the word? Burn. When's it my turn? Wouldn't I love? Love to explore that shore up above. Out of the sea. Wish I could be part of that world. No matter how is grieving if you keep on believing the dreams that you wish will come true
need some water. Who's got some water? I'm not kidding this time. This ain't no bit. Somebody but everybody has a cocktail, don't they? It's not what we're... <laughs> Mario's running back to fill a glass from the toilet. Thank you. That's love right there. That's love. Oh, those Disney princesses. Oh, who is this? Oh, who are you? <laughs> Yes, please. <laughs> wow, mountain men at a cabaret show. <laughs> Somebody get his number, please. <clears throat> I like to chop wood. <laughs> um, Anyway, back to those Disney princesses. Did you? This was a new one too. Did you plan that? Hmm. Well, so yeah, the Disney, the Disney, the Disney. They always get their guys. Those, those broads. I mean, Snow White. She she got a prince and seven backups. All right, they may have fallen a bit short, but whatever. Uh, too soon. Too soon. <laughs> At least she didn't have to go online. Is anybody here dating online? Uh, Just me? <laughs> me and that mountain guy? Great, great. That's cool. That's cool. Um, you, you people who are attached have no idea what it's like out there. It's awesome. There are all these sites. You have to fill out page after page of must-haves and can't-stands and likes and dislikes, and you have to... Do your best to sound smart and snappy and clever and witty and successful and <laughs> not desperate <laughs> in the um, in the in your own words section. <laughs> I'd rather go vegan than fill out one more online profile. <laughs> I was uh, I was actually on a date recently with a. <laughs> this is terrible. Did I tell you this? This is so. This is awful. I was on a date recently with this really nice very sharp looking, kind of like a Ryan Reynolds look-alike. And, and the date was, it was going so well, we were at the bar, it was going so well, we decided to stay there and have dinner. And he got the menu and was staring at the menu inches from his face. Well, being the jerk that I am, I said, it's not a scratch and sniff, you know. He said, yeah, I know, I'm legally blind. Whoops. I mean, that explained the dog. People, how many people can say they've been on a blind date with a blind, no? God, I worked on that one forever. Blind date with a blind, no, okay. Right. My mom said, what about church? Have you tried going to church? What about church? I said, have you been to church in Los Angeles? It's gayer than Liza Minnelli's ex-husbands. Pick one. She said, Lancy, you know, if you stop looking, you'll find him. I said, please, shh, shh, shh. Mm, mm -mm. Don't, don't. I, I just want to meet someone who doesn't scare people. All the time. Can, I, can you just play that one more time? Because it's so dramatical. Just one more time. Yes. Thick blonde hair and smart and funny. Disposition sweet and sunny. Goes to yoga, comes from money. That's all. 38, looks 17, and 6 foot 2, and tan and lean, and always keeps his business clean. That's all. Listens like an angel, and he likes to dance. Catches eyes of others, but gives no one else a glance. Brilliant, unassuming, independent. Has a job and loves to ski. I tell ya, that's my list. It's etched in stone, the perfect, perfect boy for me. He doesn't have to be Brad Pitt, for God's sake. Bradley Cooper's fine. <laughs> The fella who will turn me on will bring me things from Cinnabon with a heart as big as Oregon. That's all. 
The boy with whom I'll never break up loves me when I don't wear makeup. All I have to do is wake up. That's all. Raucously soft-spoken, amiably filed, slightly domineering, yet considerably mild. Stogie-loving, poker-playing, slightly goofy muse who brews me tea. I tell ya, that's my list, I'm pretty sure. The perfect, perfect boy for me. Mm. To get most of what I want would not be bad. I would willingly give up a point, you bet. He could be brunette, a redhead or brunette. Oh, hell. A guy with any color hair who actually wants me there, who walks and talks and breathes the air. That's all. Who put up with the games I play and all the stupid things I say and somehow loves me anyway. That's all. Comfortably exciting, passionate and true. Every other Sunday lets me take a nap or two, but mostly walks into a room and boom, his smile is everything I see. Let me keep my cat from college, tolerate my friends, and like to play a little twister, not make fun of, you know what, never mind. And if you maybe have his number, tell him any night this week, I'm free. Every single night. <laughs> Next week's looking good. The whole month's wide open. <laughs> don't know this about me, but um, I have an affinity for older men. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Apparently she does as well. <laughs> yeah, as long as they're unattached and available and, oh God, taking an aspirin a day, <laughs> I'm in. In fact, if you're not on Coumadin or Lipitor, don't approach me. If you, don't, if you don't have to prick your finger to check your blood sugar or something else, I don't want your number. If you don't consider Insure a mixer, <laughs> it ain't ever gonna happen. Because there is nothing sexier than getting the AARP discount. <laughs> Some women like men with muscles. Some women like men with dough. Some women like men who write them haiku or tattoo their name on their toe, whatever. Some women like men with class and smarts and breeding. But the singular trait that I love in a mate is a hairline that's receding. I want them bold, tall, dark, handsome, and bold. Keep your jock and keep your rock star. What makes me crazy is a look of a rock star bold, shining brilliantly bold. Blowing curls are so passe. Tell your Romeo to throw the comb away. How I love when he goes for a haircut, and I mean a haircut. And he comes home relaxed with that self assured, satisfied glare. He says, Hun, like the style. And I give a soft smile as I gently run my fingers through his hair. Cause there's no hair, he's bald. I am bald. And I love him so bald. She loves me bald. Oh. <laughs> who needs tangles, who needs gel? You can tell the adults is soon to go to hell. And to all you young men who are listening who do that to pay thing. And make no mistake, I assure you, we know who you are. And to all you young men who do One Piece real long or that spray thing, just go all natural and believe me, you'll shine like a star. Cause women love bald. Vin Diesel is bald. Vin Diesel's bald. 
as you hear. Don't be a fool. Just take a tip from Sean and you. What could be more hot, more cool? you need for a cabaret skit. <laughs> you, need, you need a room. You need lovely friends. <laughs> and you need a gorgeous and talented accompanist. <laughs> Give it up for Jerry Sternbach, you guys. <sighs> God, he's hot. Later? No? No? Okay. No? It's fine. It's totally fine. I'm used to that. It's fine. It's fine. You know, um, actually, in looking... Let me just take this down. Let's take it down a notch, shall we? Um, in looking for the perfect relationship, I really do have... Um, I have the best example right in my own backyard. My parents, Paul and Marcia, have been married for 47 years. I know! And I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure, Jerry, they still like each other. Sometimes I will call home and Marsha, I mean, I don't want to make it sound like they're, you know, Warden June over here. Um, <laughs> last week I called home and I was like, hey, what's going on? She goes, your father's driving me crazy. I've had to take to the closet. <laughs> I said, no, no, really, are you in the closet? She was. Nelson, I'm not kidding. She was in the closet. She goes, I have to keep my voice down. But he, he is making the red hair on my fanny stand on end. <laughs> An image I personally find incredibly upsetting. However, Paul and Marcia, at the end of the day, are pals. And they're best friends. And they're sweethearts. And this is for you, guys. Folks, the very thought of you, and I forget to do those little ordinary things that everyone ought to do. I'm living in a kind of daydream. I'm happy as a queen and foolish, though it may seem <laughs> to me that's everything. The mere idea of you The longing here for you. You'll never know how slow the moments go till I'm near to you. I see your face in every flower. Your eyes and stars above, it's just the thought of you, the very thought of you, my
those moments go till I'm near to you. I see your face in every flower. Your eyes in stars above. It's just the thought of you. The very thought of city in the whole world. I lived there for seven years and um, I miss the struggle and the snow and the smell of hot garbage in the summer. <laughs> takes me back. But I've been in LA for four years now and I, I know I'm starting to like it. Recently I forgot how to read which makes it even better. <laughs> But I still think about New York all the time. I do. I think about New York um, kind of like, like an ex-boyfriend that I'm still in love with. You know what I mean? No, nobody gets that. No, I just love it there. And I think no matter where I go or what I do, I'll always sort of be a Broadway baby. The more I travel across the gravel, the more I sail the sea. The more I feel convinced of the fact New York's the town for me. Oh, Jerry. That crazy skyline is right in my life. And when I'm far away, I'm able to bear it for several hours. Then I break down and say, Take me back to Manhattan. Take me back to New York. I'm just longing to see once more my little home on the hundredth floor. Can you wonder I'm gloomy? Can you smile when I frown? I miss the east side, the west side. myself, is that all there is? Don't worry, I'm not going to sing it. Is that all there is? Have I really reached the pinnacle of my career mid-puberty? <laughs> and for those of you on your fourth margaritas, and the answer is yes. Yes, I did. <laughs> But there's one thing I do have, people. I got hope. Jerry, that's your cue. 
things are mending now. I see a rainbow blending now. We'll have our happy ending now. Taking a chance on love. Make someone happy. Make just one someone happy. Make just one heart the heart you seem to One smile that cheers you One face that lights when it nears you Someone you're everything to Fame, if you win it Comes and goes in a minute Where's the real stuff in life to cling to? Love is the answer. Someone to love is the answer. Once you found him, build your world. and goes in a minute where's the real stuff in life to cling to love is the answer someone to love is the answer once you found him build your world Let's hear it for Lindsay Alley, everybody! Yeah.